5 Important Reasons to Start Planning Lessons Today There are various thoughts among teachers on the use of lesson plans. Some believe that a lesson plan concentrates too much on the teacher and on what the teacher wants to accomplish and they think that this approach has the potential to neglect the student's needs. On the other hand, some believe that a teacher should dictate what the students need most in a lesson. Personally, I believe that there needs to be a balance between a teacher being prepared by having a lesson plan but also have the flexibility to meet the student's needs as the lessons progress. A lesson plan provides a framework. I believe that a lesson plan provides a framework or a roadmap so that a teacher can be as effective as it is possible. Lesson plans should be simple but not necessarily 100% scripted. A good lesson plan has a purpose in mind and therefore it serves as a guide for the particular time that the teacher has with the students. This helps the teacher plan activities, time needed for each section, tools that might be used for the purpose of always achieving the desired goal and objective for the lesson. Having said this, one always needs to be mindful that flexibility and a willingness to charge or adapt is key and necessary. Lesson plans let you set clear goals. There are various formats that teachers use when it comes to lessons plans. More experienced teachers might only write down a few words or a general outline of what they want to accomplish with a given class. On the other hand, a newer teacher might need more structure by creating a more detailed lesson plan. Lesson plans are helpful in the sense that they can also take into account the age of the students, their backgrounds, knowledge of English and even can take into account time of day that the class is held. Regardless if one has been teaching for decades or just starting, and regardless if one has a detailed lesson plan or just a few notes on a piece of paper, the end goal should always be the same for both. Planning your lessons shows students you are committed. I would like to think that lesson plans are actually the proof that a teacher is mindful and cares for the class and its students. A lesson plan provides a point of reference for a given lesson and how it fits with what has been taught in the past and how it relates to what is going to be taught in the future. This process also serves as a reminder of any necessary teaching aids such as listening devices, technology needs, worksheets, props, etc. A lesson plan can help a teacher be well prepared and professional thus communicating to the students that one as a teacher is competent and engaged as well. A lesson plan allows teachers to reflect on their work. One of the last reasons of having a lesson plan is that it can also be of benefit to the teacher. As a teacher, one would want to monitor the effectiveness of their own teaching. I would hope that as teachers we are trying to improve the way we teach, our interaction with students in the process, plan we develop to teach a certain lesson. A lesson plan allows a teacher to evaluate effectiveness can be used to make notations and have a resource to be able to make changes for future lessons if necessary. A lesson plan helps teachers and students meet their objectives. The purpose of a teacher teaching a group of students English as their second language should always strive to reach the desired goal. The desired goal should always be that students progress from one from lesson to the next in their knowledge of English and their proficiency in their new language teachers and their planning, preparation and presentation is key to this being a reality. Therefore, it is important that a teacher be mindful of the objectives that he or she has for the students and mindful of the objectives that they have for themselves. As the saying goes, if one aims at nothing they will hit it every time. Thus having a planned season with a lot of patience and flexibly is the recipe for success. I am looking forward to the adventure that my wife and I have accepted. We are moving aboard to teach English in Indonesia from Columbus, Ohio and we will have the opportunity to apply and use many of the principles that we have learned through this course. We both trust and hope that we will be as effective as we possibly can. Start planning your future as an English teacher. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 
490-0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.